Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Let's talk about being hungry. Have you ever been hungry for something but you're not exactly sure what it is that you you want to eat? And so you start eating and eating only to realize that you're not getting full. It's like you're feasting on rubbish. It's not what you want, but to satisfy that craving that you have, you'll, you'll eat anything. Something is missing and you can't seem to put your finger on it. You're alive, but your soul is dead. You just can't put your finger on what it is that you have a tasting for. You don't know anymore what you want. You can't find it in sex. You can't find it in money. You can't find it in food. You can't find it in drugs. But the Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. In Psalms 34, verse 8. To taste something means taste, taste, testing it out or sampling it. To see involves understanding or perceiving. The phrase taste and see then means try and experience. So you're going to try and experience God. When you taste Jesus' words, your hunger will disappear. You see, God wants you to come and explore the possibilities that he has for you. So once you have tried him and begin to experience him, it is like eating eternal food. You can't get enough of him. You can never leave him once you have swallowed his living bread. It will give you the eternal energy that you're looking for. But you first have to eat his bread to really understand just how good it is. When you step into his bakery and taste angel cake, it will help you to realize that, yeah, this is the wedding recipe. Freedom food is always the flavor when God is in it. When God is on your side, you will have heavenly cravings. The Holy Spirit will tell you how to avoid certain people, foods and drinks, or activities that eat away at your holiness. It is for you to taste Him for yourself. You can't go by what others say. Only then will you understand that the Lord is good and follow Him. Once you've ingested the bread of life, it will satisfy your spiritual hunger forever. Once you do that, you'll never want to leave Jesus. Because if you do, you'll die of spiritual hunger. Spiritual hunger is when you hunger spiritually. Nothing, and I mean nothing, can satisfy you. You can get to a point in life where there is nothing in the natural that can quench that supernatural thirst that you have. It is your longing for vitality, peace, and delight in God. You're longing for that moment-by-moment -moment refreshment that comes from His Spirit. It's just like you were craving all those other things. The only difference is that Jesus can satisfy your every desire. Taste and see that the Lord is good. The secret to tasting Him 365 days of the year is to take a bite out of Him one day at a time. And I'm going to tell you something, after a while you begin to see the changes in your life. You start to feel full. Your hunger starts to get satisfied spiritually. When you dine with the Lord often, your spirit will get hungrier and hungrier. You can't wait to drink His never-ending well to satisfy your soul. So taste him and see that he is good. Thanks for watching. Tap the subscription button below. Blessings.